Hello everybody, it's me, Sports Talk Guy. And this is a bit of an update video. Um, I got this brilliant idea where I'm going to be going through the top five positions in between football, hockey, and baseball at each position. Well, not, not for hockey, actually, I just have a goalies, defensemen, and forwards. I don't have wingers or centers. But that's how I have it set up. For football, I have the same thing, even offensive and defensive linemen. I have everything. So it's gonna. It's about 23 videos I have about to be coming at you, which is absolutely phenomenal that I get this done. Along with, I'll be doing a coverage of each round of the NHL playoffs, giving my NHL playoff predictions once the regular season ends. So that'll get thrown in there. And if any major news comes out between any in any anywhere, I will also throw that in the mix. So you could potentially we could be looking at anywhere from. 25 to about 25, I'd say, to 40 straight videos where I don't miss a day. That's going to be pretty awesome if you ask me. So, um, those videos will start uh, Sunday the 12th or Sunday the 13th, and they'll just going straight through. And that's all I wanted to talk about. Oh, and um, with these, I'm going to make these top five videos at each position. Um, I'm just gonna set it up. My opinion of who the top five at their positions are for you'll you'll get you'll understand as we get into it. Um, a little spoiler um, for the thumbnails. Um, the guy who is third in that list will always be the guy that's the thumbnail. I don't want to make it the number one because that's spoilerish, and I don't want to make it I guess the last guy because it's like kind of douchey. I feel so. I'm gonna make it the guy right in the middle. So who's ever third, that's how you'll know who is third without me saying it, but we're going to talk about each of these players in their top five, and for the NHL portion, I did honorable mentions for these positions, and I'm not going to lie, the easiest to pick was definitely football for their positions, other than offensive line, that was kind of tough to pick, I definitely th did a lot of research, and um, just based on what I've seen from certain players, um, hockey was, hockey and baseball are pretty tough, hockey I felt that I had to make an honorable mentions list because there were so many tough players, because I mean, in hockey, you have defensemen, your left wing, right wing, and center, except your left wing, right wing, and center are all forwards, and that's just what I left it as. I did my top five forwards, no wingers, no centers, no none of that, and then I did my defensemen, and then I did my goalies, and that's where it, it got iffy. Uh, there was a lot of defensemen I wanted to put in my top five. I couldn't, though. It was the same with goalies. There's so many, and there's just so many, and the same with baseball, especially the outfielders. Oh, my God, that was so hard to pick. I did the outfielders as a whole and not as left, center, right. That was tough to pick. If I did it individually, it would have been much easier, but I didn't feel the need to. And with baseball, I also did um, I did three, I did four pitching categories. I did closer, left-handed starting pitcher, right-handed starting pitcher, and total pitcher. So I did a list of each of the top five in each of those, and then I did the top five pitchers to, as a group. So it's a combination from the relievers, combination from the lefties, a combination from the righties, you know. So... That's all I wanted to say today, and that'll be coming straight. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Maybe it could uh, help in my channel a lot with me uploading consistently. And I know people love top five videos, and maybe I'll spark some controversy. I don't know. I like to converse. I like to argue about sports. It's something I thoroughly enjoy. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys daily, hopefully, if you're watching. Goodbye.